You know what? I really don't remember how it came. Like, I write scripts all the time, you know, and some, how, most of them are, like, as most writers, when you write it, they're in various stages of completion. You know, some are, some are really just, like, drafts or notes. Others are, like, a scene here and there. And this one just kind of, de you know, developed over time. I think, you know, we, I wrote it about a year and a half ago or about a year yeah. ago. And it went through a, a bunch of drafts. I was trying to find out what the tone of the story was. And then um, we were going to shoot it about a year ago. And then I just decided to shelve it because I just didn't think it was right. I just didn't feel it was ready. And, uh, and we just kind of forgot it for a bit. We kept in contact, you know, just like friends would. And I guess, if, you know, a few months after, the, you know, before, Derek, we're sitting at lunch. And he said, well, I read the script again. You should revisit it. It's not as bad as he thought it was. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, that's, you know, a vote of confidence. Um, and so, you know, I, and I did. I, I reread. I'm like, okay, there's certain things, you know, that could definitely work if I change things here and there. And that's kind of the process where, you know, once you haven't seen something for a while, you look at it with fresh eyes, you're like, okay, certain things definitely work, you can look at it more objectively. I'm glad you picked up on the political thing, I don't know if many people would have, but I think it was, um, I'm not a message person in the sense that I don't necessarily believe that, you know, the film should be about a message, but that doesn't mean you could completely get, you know, you have to get rid of it, that it should only be fun, I think you can have both. And I think if you can entertain an audience and at the same time kind of sneak in the message there, I think that's usually that's my way of doing things. So it's got to be fun. And but at the same time, if there's an opportunity to add a bit more depth or weight to it, you know, I would. I wrote the music. I would say at heart, I'm a musician. I mean, I started I've been playing music all my life. You just said so. you're an actor and a director. Make up your mind. <laughs> Because actually the first time I read it, from the first time I read it um, up to this point, I felt like there's so many different drafts and each time it's getting better and better. And to me, it's, it's a fun challenge to be involved in this project because I felt like I'm acting in five different genres in one <laughs> film. Yeah. Is Each scene to me is a different genre. Yeah. And um, as an actor, to me, it's also like, um, how could I play that? Actually, I have so many discussions with uh, Alex, uh, especially the ending scene, because the ending scene is actually it's written in a way that is over the top and it's a big speech monologue. It's like those sports movie in the end where they were like, oh, we're winning and we have to fight the battle. And um, the first few times, I guess, I was like doing, I was like trying to find the perfect balance to do it. And then um, Alex actually gave me some very good directions and advice that like, because the dialogue and the monologue was already so big, so we were trying to underplay it in a way to make it work even better. And actually, I I do um, try different ways, and then I saw the, the outcome, and I was glad. Like, because in the whole film, I felt like I went through so many different <laughs> genres that sometimes I have to like really try to balance and my uh, in a way that make myself feel like I'm grounded in some ways. Yeah. yeah, and I, I speak both languages. I speak Cantonese in the film, and I speak English in the film. And um, sometimes I'm like, oh wait, this scene is... I'm speaking Chinese or English. <laughs>